Hello, my name is Isaac, and this game is Outward. One player game. Uh, I'll just do normal this time. Let's see here. Jim? Nah. Just give him my name. Mail. Styles. Why not? Sure. There we go. All my life. Lived in the safety of Sierzo, spared the brutality of the world outside, but life in Ori is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her action ever since. I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Izan, hoping the money made there would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Now I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future, or die trying. There we go. And here's the little tutorial-y sort of spot here. My goodness, I'm kind of... I'm kind of dare. Okay. Walk over here. Grab a torch. Yoink. So shift is for that, for the run-ins, spaces to dodge or roll, put on some clothes, there we go. <coughs> Grab some, uh, some gabberries. Anything else around here I can pick up? Probably not much. Oh, some seaweed. over here. Fishing harpoon. Take that. Uh, might as well drink some water. Can I get clean water? Nope. I ain't got no water skin. Never mind. Some more berries. Oh, no, bandage. Some more berries. Some bread. Okay. Let's head over here a little bit. See what else is over here before I go and talk to, uh, to my friend there. Come on. Here behind the uh, spot. Okay, a junk pile. That's pretty good. Um, take all tea. There we go. Anything else around here I can kind of pick up? Ah, yeah. So 
more seaweed. I can always use seaweed, I guess. Since I can pick, since I can grab it, I might as well grab it. Anything around here? Not a whole lot, just some more berries, looks like. Come on. Keep trying to like, you know, attack, but it's just there we go. Oh, come on. I was trying to hit him, but it just wasn't working. Oh, well. Unconsciousness comes quickly, and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You're back in your old bed at home. The lightning, the lightning, huh? the lighthouse in Sierzo. Izan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the sh about that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. There we go. And now I'm home. And I'm still carrying my machete. Great. Okay, I'll wear work boots, and I'll wear that, and I'll actually... Can I grab that? Nope. Okay, let me see here. I'll wear you instead. Damn it. Okay. Let's open that up. And inventory it. Thought there was a way. Oh well. Okay, let's see here. Have that. You in there, and you in there, and you in there for now, and you, and I don't really need any of these things just kind of hanging out right now. That works. Actually, I can probably just come over right here and hold. Ah, okay, that works. Even better. Sandals. I might sell those things at some point there. Meantime, let's go outside and say hi to the uh, village. Hey guys, how's it going? Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. For as long as you did. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home! <clears throat> I... You know I can't pay it. All the money we made in... 
Orakai is in the bottom of the bay. Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? I lost my daughter in that vo on that voyage. She brings ruin to the tribe just like your grandmother. Great, thanks. Uh, doesn't change the fact that I have no money right now and I can't pay you. Let's be nice. If you can't make Dish. the payments you missed, we will seize your home. That ought to cover the four months of ignoring your duty to the tribe. Either pay up or get out of our way. Enough Great. of this. Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once. This is a time for the tribe to come together and mourn our lost loved ones. Not to demand payment from a survivor. Stop the shit. Oh, yeah. And then just the end. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. Okay. But Chamber Lady Aberdeen. I said that is enough. If you want to resume discussions after the mourning period, feel free. But until then, your concern should be those whose lives were lost in the wreck. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. All right. I'm sorry that was the first thing Friendly you Friendly bunch. To. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. I can't believe they want to seize my home. Can't you do something? If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. Five days. No one in the tribe can ask for what you owe. Okay. That Just gives a few you days. a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to touch you. That works for me. Once you can make the payments, come see me. Please, find a way to make it work. I can't accomplish that. Then I'll have to head outside the walls. That does seem like your most effective option. Dangerous as it is. Okay. Never forget, no one is an orphan in Cierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. If you can do a great deed for someone in Cierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Okay, well, if Once I can do that. Once you're ready to leave Cierzo, speak with Burak, the Gate Warden. Remember, you only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. Thanks. And what about you? I'm glad you survived the wreck. A glowing new sword that is new. When did you get it? Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. Okay. But with the shipwreck, it wouldn't be right to leave so soon. Okay. I know. Risa you, has already you promised me that she and I will be having a long talk. You should just go now. You're, you're, you're abandoning your name and home anyway. Forget staying for the mourning period. Mm, why not? I would, but Cierzo is still my home. I can't just leave when it's in such pain. Always okay. strive to be better than today. We'll do. Maybe. Can I grab that? Oh, cool. Get some berries. Be distracted. No, that's uh. Let me see here. 
got a weapon, got a backpack. Can't really think of anything else I could do. Let me see if I can talk to some people. Is there something you need? Uh, I like to talk. Why not? Can you help with this? Are you planning to pass by Berg sometime soon? I have this ledger I need to pass to Pleagle's general store. You'll be paid, of course, on delivery. Sure, why not? Excellent. Sharing information is essential for us, for our firm merchants like, like us. You get your reward once you deliver the ledger. Alright. Uh, let's see what you got to sell. Not too bad. I guess that's all that I'm carrying. Just can't really do much with any of that yet. Thank you. What about you? Hey there. I'll talk with you. Is the plan. Running low on crystal powder to brew advanced potions. If you got an alchemy set of your own, make some for me, would you? Sure. Hey, listen. You know how to make the powder, right? Four mana stones on a deployed alchemy kit. Gotcha. Uh, it's about, about buying something. Wait, no. Oh. Crimp nuts. Cool. I'll just uh, come over here for now. Actually, wait. Let's get over. Sorry, I missed it. Hey, what do you got? Some weapons. I already have like a no weapon myself right now, so I'm pretty good with that. Uh, escape. F. What can there I do for you? I can craft something. Here's what I need. Three blue sand and a lot of money. Five and two. Okay. What can I do for you? Oh, can you tell me about handling the equipment? Well. Bye. Okay. Well, bye. Take good care of your equipment, friend. Well, when wits fail you, your gear is all you can rely on. Eh? Okay. That works. Um. Is there anything over here I can I can steal? A uh, machete. I got two machetes. Oh, hey, it's you. I wish I could greet you with a smile, but... You didn't come talk to me. <laughs> Probably. Oh, you that's breath. What a disaster. Yeah, it was definitely Yesterday bad. Yesterday I was leading our most ambitious expedition in a decade. Now, all that's left is this wreck and a tribe in mourning. What happened? How did our ship sink so close to home? The lighthouse wasn't lit at the time we Yeah, that's not lost good. Everyone who was below the deck at the time of the accident. So we lost everything? All the coins, the, the spices, the armors and weapon? Unfortunately, yes. What little we could salvage from the wreck has gone to the families of my drowned men. Well, that sucks. Still, we have no right to complain all we lost. With some coins, four months of time on this failed journey. My sailors, my sailors, my sailors lost their lives. Um, of course. Kind as ever. Your parents would be proud. The blood price on your head is disgusting. You weren't even born when that tragedy happened. Yeah. I know, but I don't really have much of a choice right now. Of course you do. What? Just because a choice is hard doesn't mean you can't take it. I'm sorry I don't have better news. 
best of luck with squaring things with Risa in the short term. Actually, I do have a small stash of goods I hid in case of disaster. It's by the old shipwreck to the south. When you open it, remember that the moon commands the stars. You'll know what I mean. Okay. Remember, you're not just a link in a chain. You're worth more than the blood in your veins. Oh, uh, you'll end up missing limbs like me. You're missing... Oh, you don't have an arm. Did not notice that one. Okay. Thanks, Yazan. And you got a peg leg. Awesome. Sorry, friend. Oh, gather fish. skin. Does it have water in it? Yep. I'm, I'm good then. Oh, some more fish. If I can get under there. Get the fish. Here. Maybe I'll sell a few things, I guess. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the fish. Does everyone need to eat, right? Wait, what's up here? Chef. Can I help you? Oh, no, I'd like to talk. Can you lend me a hand? Uh, some food that my parents made. Could you prepare me some of that? And I'll return the favor. Uh, sure. Yes. I'll learn that. Some salt and a big Sounds good. Uh, what do you got? Yes. No. Oh. Oh, who are you? No one. Okay, never mind. Uh, talk to the fishmonger. Greetings, friend. Hey, see you guys. Uh, trout. I'll take. I'll take the trout. One trout. Don't really have any salt. Do you have salt? Is there something you need? kitchen. Okay, maybe I have to learn it first. I seem to have forgotten. do I make? Okay. I 
thought I had it had it uh, remembered there, but I guess I don't. Not around now. Great. Ah, there it is. Okay. Let's learn the recipe. Aha. Okay, so I just need the seaweed now. Okay. I can grab the seaweed. I know I'm missing something, but what am I missing? That would be it. Alright, F. And then, let's make it. And we're good. Jobs are good. Here's your. Can I help you? Yeah. Here, a gift. Thank you for the. Fricassee. And... Can I help you? Can I sell you the food that I just made? I'll sell you both of them. And... I'll go ahead and sell you both of them. Or all four of them. And double up my money. Haha. Uh -huh. Much better. Is there something you buy? Need? I will buy one of those. Why not? And come back into here. Drop you on the ground. Alright. There we go. And open you up. And I will wear you. And I will take all. Then it's all like right there. Much better. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll go talk to the guy there first. See what he has to what he has to say. Maybe try to get a um, a skill or something like that. I believe. Sorry, over over tired there. Need something. I'd like to talk. Uh, what are you up to, Warden? Waiting on some scouts to come back from reconnaissance. That's nice. My warriors and I are the last line of defense for Sierzo. That's nice. Okay. Need something? Uh, I'm going outside. Well, you got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. Okay. Sure. There you go. Puncture. Mastering skills is the key to survival. Flint steel. Cool. Thank you. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Okay. Bye now. I'm through here. Go through the door. And awesome. Okay, so now we're we are in here. I can uh grind a little bit. Grab that flint and steel. Grab the old lamp. Put the old lamp in my backpack. Oh. Okay, it is for you. Okay. So there's that. Oh, what are you? Uh, your book bag, or your sleeping bag. Take that. Come over here. I'll grab, uh, Cap Capri Jam. Might as well read that if I can. There we go. 
And then I'll search the junk pile. Take all the things. Put that also into the backpack. And... Okay, I guess it's automatically turned off then, never mind. Okay, let's turn on the, uh, the butt light. Grab that. And then... Let's slowly die. Thank you. And let me do the same thing to you. Nice. I guess we got that, and then I'll take all that. I think I did anyway, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'll head back down and sell some of that stuff if I can. Just to be rid of it. Because I'm a little bit over encumbered right now. Let's go find a guy way off along a beach. Whoa, can't see. Why well, try I have to go pick up that mushroom? That's uh over, over here now. There we go. And I can come over here. Hop down right about here. Turn that thing off. Whee! There we go. And then I can leave. Alright, here we go. Oh. Go ahead and grab all the seaweeds. Like, hey. I can't. I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. Please, uh, hurry. I, I don't know how long I have. Uh, okay. No craft. Might as well, uh... I don't know, there it is. them and then I'll craft one of them I can't. I there can't I can feel it working yeah uh, it's a band-aid I'm not going to die here not yet <laughs> thanks a bunch oh it's you you, know, you, you you didn't recognize me before that's, that's nice uh, million times thank you. I seriously owe you one. I'll talk to Aunt Arisa and make sure you get a full tribal favor for this. Oh, thank you. Oh. Don't think I'm fit to run back home just yet. Just find a safe place then. Let that medicine do its thing. Then I'll go home and it's the second time equal. That's nice. I'll see you, guy. Oh, what's this? There's a the blue sand. Leaving you alone. Don't want to uh, tangle with you right now. Can I climb up over here? I hope I can. Or like over there, maybe. 
No, 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 let me go. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh, stay away from the bird. And there we go. I'm back. Wait, what? What is this? Ah, a hatchet. I'll take the hatchet. And then I will sell you the hatchet. Greetings, friend. Hey. Okay, let me see here. I'll give you that. Got two of them. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Salmon. I will, of course, be keeping that thing right there. And. Uh, that works. Okay. Oh, what, are, what is that? A felling great axe. Don't remember seeing that before. Hey, Rissa. Mayor. Greetings. How go your efforts? Uh, I'd like to talk about my blood price. You have a way to make that payment. Show me. I learned I earned a tribal favor. And on time too. Yeah. I'm impressed. Thank you. You've proven that you can be an excellent asset to the tribe when you put your mind to it. Well, maybe. Well done. Siezo thanks you for your great deed. Well, it was your nephew or something, so Oliel and Izan are leaving Siezo. Of course. Uh you should speak with them. Okay, I'll go speak with them. What do you mean? They're, they're leaving? Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. Okay. Nothing I could say would convince her to stay. Good. It's about time you let her go. <sighs> she just sighs. You can't understand what it feels like to have your own daughter forsake her name and home. I may never see her again. She was born into such an advantageous family, and yet, who am I to argue with a literal god? And Yuzan? Why is he leaving? He can't be ready for another expedition already. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. Of course. Of course, why? How can you be sure? Roland fell asleep on duty. That's his fault. This is unacceptable. Okay. Good decision on his part, then. This isn't fair. I understand punishing Roland, but why is Anne? Mm. Yeah. The blood price must be levied against an entire bloodline. Otherwise, the one who bears it would be punished, would be pushed to act selfishly rather than repay what is owed to the tribe against the line it can be held for as long as it needs to against an individual it promotes only bloodshed okay the blood price is not a punishment it is a punishment <laughs> it's a repayment for wrong it allows those who have suffered to get their fair compensation without violence without it we would be ruled by revenge and mob rule. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Okay. Once you're done, we should discuss your future here in Sierzo. Are you going to kick me out too? Okay. okay. I see how it is. Ah. Ugh. Oh, what's that? Here I can take. Nope. Anything up here I can take. Ah, there's that. Nope. Hold. What's that? Uh, pale light clothes. I'll take all the stuff. Thank you. Nope. Can't do any of the any of the jumpy bits. What about down here? I need a key. That sucks. Okay. I'll be back. Come on, bro. There. Okay, F. I 
take it you've heard the news. Come to see your old pal off. Yep. I've got one little fishing barge to my name. And by a lap, I've got a use it. You're going to the heroic king kingdom of Levant. Never to darken the stain of a city again. It's not really much the of a city. Kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. An even better society. Yeah. Listen. It's a place where you can do what you were what you were meant to do, without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and the misdeeds of your ancestors. Your success or failure is based on your own merits, no one else's. Why so far away? Levant believes that everyone deserves a shot at what they're best at. Okay. And that doesn't... And doesn't have these backwards tribal laws to deal with? It's the rational place for a fresh start. Okay. And honestly, the farther away I am from my dolt of a brother and that tyrant, Rissa, the better I'll sleep at night. I... How do you plan on making it to Levant? The sea can only take you so close. I mean, it's in the middle of the desert. We'll go by ocean as far as we can, then lick it across the Abrasar Desert on foot. We'll be rationing f water the whole way. If I could afford it, I'd have brought potions to help with the heat, but we'll have to try our luck without them. Can I come along? Okay. I'd take you if I could, but you can't swim. I can swim. On a barge that small, you'd be nothing but a liability. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, but that's just not going to happen. If you manage to get to the kingdom on your own somehow, though, I'll do my best to look out for you. Okay. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long. You'll have to leave the Sharonis by going southeast, then travel east along the entire Enrakar forest, and finally south through the Abrasar itself. Okay. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar desert, I'll be waiting for it. Okay. Sounds good, friend. Oh, and you disappeared. Okay, where are you with your glowy sword? Yeah, let's talk. I guess this is goodbye. I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. Yeah, something happened, you're scowling. Mother and I had a talk. Okay. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. Can't, I can't talk, talk about that. Right she wants me to follow in her footsteps, and I, I just can't. I already have no desire to be a chamber lady. And what she told me, I refuse to consider being part of it. All right, listen. Mm, yeah, I'll think about it. No thanks. Is spending your life under Reese's thumb any better? At least, it'll, at least with the holy mission, you'll be working for the good of all, or I. We get to go to far off places, face the scourge help people. It'd be an adventure. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Or fighting the scourge. It's also about helping everyone regardless of tribe or family. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. Okay, and third, always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help one another. It's a good set of values to live by. Hmm. In fact, if you join the Holy Mission and give up your bloodline, you'd be free from ever making payments on your blood price as well. It's the ideal clean slate. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon. Yeah. In the Once in the marsh, follow the Oop. Pilgrim Road. Uh, the th trail of sun pillars towards the ray of light that fills the flies over Monsoon. There we go. Okay, goodbye. Don't fall off now. Okay, use bed. And I will sleep. 
And I will repair. Until morning. Why not? There we go. Okay. That's it for right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.